If you're just talking straight to the camera like this, it's very easy to bore your audience. So there are a few tips and tricks to make the viewer engaged, keep them focused, increase retention, and get more views. It may include doing a J cut between clips. It may include a slow zoom in. You might want to do a cut in every point you make, or sometimes you just want to pop up with a sound effect. So the way I'm gonna structure this tutorial is I'm going to edit the footage that you just saw. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So what you just saw is the edited version. This is currently unedited, and I'm gonna show you how I edit it. First of all, the J cut. The J cut is, there's two clips, clip A here, clip B here. And the audio is detached from both clips. So the audio of clip B plays before the visual of clip B. I'll show you how you do that. So this is what it currently looks like. Just increase retention and get more views. It may include doing a J cut between clips. So this is clip B. We can make the audio play before the visual scene. How you do that? You make this perhaps a bit longer and perhaps you make this a bit shorter like this. So it kind of looks like a J if you can imagine it like this. So let's see how that looks. Keep them focused, increase retention and get more views. It may include doing a J cut between clips. It may include a so something like that. And you can play around with the duration because these two clips are attached to each other. These two clips are attached to each other. If the audio is still attached to the video, what you can do, you can go search up detach audio and click detach audio. But here it's already detached. And you can play around with how long you want the J cut to be. And get more views. It may include doing a J cut between clips. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to do a slow zoom in. A slow zoom in works really well at the start of your video. It also works really well when you're having a really solid point and you're going on for ages and ages and ages and you're hitting key points and you're just going on and rambling on. That's really cool. And how you do it is keyframes ultimately. So say I want to make this the start of the slow zoom in and then I want to make the scale fixed. Then I click the down arrow to go to the end and then I go one frame back with the left key because if not, you'd see the next clip and then you make it slightly zoomed in like this. And then when it plays, it'll zoom in. It may include doing a J cut between clips. It may include a slow zoom in. And that's the slow zoom in. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a cut. And this is very good if you have two clips and you just want to make it seem more seamless. Sometimes you just stumble and you need to cut out a part where you stumble. Adding a cut really helps mask that. But I'll show you how to do a cut in every point I make, like I do here. I want to do a cut in every point you make. If so say I want to do a cut in at every, because that was a hard point. And then every point, point as well. So uh, command B to cut the clip. Point you make. And then say I want to do it again for make. Okay, so I want to go zoom in here, zoom in even more, and zoom in even more here. So what I do, I highlight these three clips after where I want it to start, then I zoom in a little bit, then I go to the next clip, highlight these two clips, and then zoom in a bit more, and then for the final one, highlight that, zoom in just a bit more, and this is what it will look like. You might want to do a cut in every point you make. or So that's what it looks like. The next one is a pop-up. Or sometimes you just want to pop up with a sound effect. So pop-ups are really good. It really helps demonstrate your points of view if you want to demonstrate something, if you want to show off how many subscribers you have or your social proof or whatever. It's really useful to demonstrate your points. I'm just going to go to Google Chrome and just say I want to do a pop-up of the subscribe button. I'm on Canva Pro currently. I'm just gonna download this as a transparent background and then I'll put it onto Final Cut Pro. So it's downloaded. I'm just going to quickly just go like this. Or sometimes you just want to pop up. So I want to do the pop up when I say pop up. So here is when I say pop. So the pop up. Say I want it to start there. I'm going to scale it down slightly, move it slightly this way. And then I'm going to end it here. Okay, and now I want to sound effect. My favorite sound effect, which is pre-installed on Final Cut Pro is 
Cartoon Accent 17. To me, it sounds fine. And I'm going to make the volume to around minus 15. I'm going to actually add it again at the end and just make it very quiet to pop up with a sound effect. So that's pretty much how you do all those little cuts. Hopefully that increases retention and gains you more views. But if you need any help with growing your socials, editing, strategy, and you want to get in contact with me on my team, head on over to the first link in the description, send me a message, and I'm sure we can help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.